what do you make of the report titled Preliminary Assessment mm -hmm. on Identified Aerial Phenomena that was released by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence in June 2021. So this is, was like, uh, okay, we're gonna step back and we're mm -hmm. going to like, what, where do we stand and where do we hope the future is? What do you make of that report? Is it hopeful? Is it- oh, I see uh, it as very helpful, very helpful. I think the adults are finally stepping up in and being in charge. Right? In the I mean, good sense of adult. What's that? In the good sense of In the of good adult. sense of adult. Um, <laughs> you know, childlike curiosity is a pretty powerful thing. That's true, yeah. yeah. I, I, it's, but it's also, I think, the people who were worried that the populace at large might run screaming into the streets and riot, yeah. uh, you know, have, you know, they basically, the empiric evidence is they're wrong. You know, this, these videos and all these things have been out for now, what, five years? most people don't even know about it, right? So as, as, as hyped as it's been and all over the newspapers that it's been and et cetera, you know, even Tucker Carlson has talked about it many times on his news program. Um, Joe Rogan has, a lot of people don't know about it. Mm -hmm. So I think people, if it's not affecting their day-to-day -day life, they're going on with their day-to-day -day life. So, but that said, I think it was an important sea change in the internal discussions going on in the government because, and, and the reason being that, I, I think this is actually partly true with the, the, the maturation of human social technology. It was becoming so obvious that this stuff was showing up again and again and again around our ships. They just couldn't keep it quiet anymore, right? And so it's like, we need to do something about it. And Lou Elizondo and Chris and others to their great credit found the right angle to talk about this. It says, well, okay, let's say it's not out there. Maybe it's the Russians, the Chinese, or somebody else. We should know about this because we damn sure know it's not us. So that to me is an important thing to, to finally be a little bit more open about the matter. But like I often say, I'm not looking for people to give me permission to do anything. I'm just going to do the analysis myself with what I have. Avi Loeb has taken the same approach. He said, I'm not going to wait for the government to give me telescopic information about technologies or, or things that might be even in our own solar system. I'm just going to collect it myself. And, and that's the right way to do it, right? Don't wait for somebody else to give it to you. It's also possible to inspire a large number of people to do a wider spread data collection. Yes. I mean, you yourself can't do a large enough data collection that would, if you're talking about anomalous events. Right, right. You, you should be collecting high resolution data about everything that's happening on earth in terms of like, at, in terms of the kind of things that would indicate to you a strong signal that something mm -hmm. weird happened mm -hmm. here. And this is why, you know, governments can be good at funding large scale efforts. Yes. I mean, you know, NASA and, and so on, working with SpaceX, uh, with Blue Origin, to, uh, to, you know, fund uh, capitalistic sort of fund companies, fund company efforts to do huge moonshot projects. Right. And in the same way, do huge moonshot data collection efforts in terms of UFOs. I mean, we're not, it needs to be like 10X, like one or two orders of magnitude more funding exactly. to do this kind of thing. And I, I understand on the flip side of that, if you make it about what are the Russians, what are the Chinese doing, you know, make it a question of geopolitics, it gets touchy because now you, you kind of taken away from the realm of science and, Making it military. Making it military. Some of the greatest, this is what makes me, as an engineer, makes me truly sad that some of the greatest engineering work ever done is by Lockheed Martin, mm -hmm. and we will never know about it. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I, I wish we were, it was different, but um, it's the world we live in. Um, you know, but related to that UAP task force announcement that you just said, you know, the bill was passed in the Department of Defense that now it formally establishes an office mm -hmm. to collate that information and also to be transparent about it. Money is now set aside. 